Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, well, welcome in. Today's video, I'm gonna do a haul of a mix of things that I have hauled, which include coloring books, coloring supplies, and some junk journal stuff. Not everything, but just a few things here and there. So, um, I don't have a whole lot, but I do have some things, so I will just get right into it. So, I'm not going in any particular order. I'm going to try to do the supplies and junk journal stuff first, and then I'll show the coloring books. But, um, yeah, I'm just kind of grab, kind of grab just what's here in front of me. So the first few things that I got are um, Distress Sprays and the Distressed Oxides. Um, my Joann's was having a sell on these. This is the Distress Spray Stain Barn Door. And then this one is the Fossilized Amber color. Then these came in a pack. Uh, Faded Jeans, which is this one. And then the, what is that? Wilted Violet and Salty Ocean. So I got these and then I got them for my junk journal. So um, for like the background and stuff of it. So. Yeah, and I'll probably use them on my coloring page pages as well. So I got those, and then I guess kind of keeping with the junk journal stuff off of Timu, I got this little container thing, and then I'll kind of show you what's inside. But um, I got this little container thing that has like my beads, my dried flowers, my moss and stuff that I use for junk journals. And I think I only pay like $3 for this thing. So, um, I just have different like beads and I did get these little like spoons and I'll show you why, but, um, I got these little spoons and if I can find... Um, <clears throat> let's see, sorry, um, I was just taking these out to kind of show, but, um, I got these little spoons to scoop up, like, my beads and stuff, and I just think it's, like, just so satisfying. And I, I kind of mix them, like the colors and stuff. These are some dried flowers. These are like some stars and pearl ones. So it was a pack of two for like 90 something cents. So those are, that's like where some of my beads and stuff are on that section. And then this is like my moss and some dry flowers for my junk journals. Um, so these things just kind of snap on. There's three levels to it. And then just some more different kinds of like grass and like moss type of stuff. Um, and I use these for junk journals. <laughs> so I'll kind of show you. Oh, I'll kind of show you what I do with those. Thank God that was closed. <clears throat> um, put this out the way. So this is a junk journal that I am starting. I got this on sale on Amazon. It's like a leather one like old vintage paper so this is like nine dollars or something so I'll just take this off but um I just picked this one up and I really like it so uh -oh, put that in there but yeah this is 
kind of the junk journaling that I've been doing. If we can kind of zoom out a little bit. So I'm just doing um, just kind of, yeah, kind of like a 3D junk journal in a way. So yeah, so I just scoop up, I put um, like the alcohol glue or the Gorilla Glue just everywhere and put my beads and stuff and yeah. So that's my junk journal. That's the new one that I got. All right, where to set things? Okay, um, I was trying to see if I could, um, Okay, so then the rest of the stuff that I got off of Timu for my junk journal is more flowers, some like ribbon stuff that I cut up, more flowers. I got like some wooden butterflies, and then I got these little charms to hang on. To hang like on my junk journal pages there's just all kinds of different charms and then these are kind of like little um like let's see if i can open this they almost look like little like pools like so i'll be gluing those on into some of my pages um, these are different, like, keys, you can see that, like, just all kinds of keys and stuff, some more little flowers, and then some little brass corners, so, that was what I got from my junk journals. And I think that's about it for my junk journals that I got. And we will move on to supplies. So one of the first things I picked up were the new Crayola Pastel. Um, these are the new ones that just came out. They are pastel colors. I haven't even opened them up. Let's see if I can get this open and let's see if I have something um let me see just sorry guys should have been a little bit better prepared. But let me just pull out some paper. Okay, so there's just some paper from a notebook I had. But these are like the pastel colors. Um, obviously, I don't think they have names, but they're just the lighter just the lighter pastel colors on the Crayola Super Tips. Um, which I really like. So, yeah. I found these, like my Walmart and stuff didn't have them. I found them at Office Depot. Oh, look, the names are back here. So, yeah. Excited to pick those up and add those to my Crayola Super Tip Collection. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little under the weather, so. Um, I picked up my Michaels had these on sale, and then I had like a five dollar off coupon. So the Gansey Gansai Tom. Tombi, Tombi, um, 
This is a smaller set. This is the 12 color set of the watercolors. Yeah, so these can be used as gal or what is it? Gouch, goat, gouchy. Um, watered down for use as watercolors. So, anyways, um, I tried some out. I really like them. They're really, really pigmented. So, I would love to get the bigger set of it, but this is what I got for now. And then I picked up some sable. Sable? Yeah. Sable hair water brushes. Uh, yeah. Sable watercolor brushes. So I just picked up this set from Amazon. I kind of tried these out as well already. And then I picked up the new uh, Jelly Roll 12 pens. Um, these are the Stardust. And I think these are the new colors, if I'm not mistaken. So, I just bring you down, but... They are nice. I've already used them. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the 12 set. I got those off of Amazon. And then I picked up I think Crystal's coloring. She posted these. The My Art Escape 72 oil based pencils. She put these like on her community tab and they were on a really good deal. So I picked them up. I haven't even swatch them or yeah I did I'm sorry I did swatch them I swatched a couple of colors just rather quickly so there's so many two that come so um I haven't really used them or tested them out like in a picture or anything so I don't know how well they perform but they were on a really good deal and I'm a sucker for good deals on pencils so I got sucked into that thank you Crystal <laughs> and then I got these from four candies and I've been wanting a set like these for a while and these are <clears throat> they look like pencils but they're like really then they come with they come with um, refills and I wanted these for like smaller spaces um, I wanted to try them out in like double-sided coloring books I just wanted to see their pencils uh, they come with um, their own like sharpener to like really like you can see that so they really make a good point and these are not expensive I think I paid like 10 bucks for these they come with an eraser refills all these colors um, they're really nice like I like them like I do I like them a lot they're pigmented So, yeah, but, um, I just wanted to test these out. So picked these up. And then I am excited about these. These are acrylic marker brush pens. 
And I think they were from Lightwish, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I like the brush pen on these. They have the brush pen side and the brush pen side on the other side, but it's like a darker blue, a lighter blue. And they color really well. These would be amazing in um, double-sided coloring books. And I, I got them specifically for my um, my Disney um, double-sided coloring books. Like my, uh, not just the color by number ones, but the ones, the bigger ones that come double-sided. So I just picked up the smaller set. Uh, you get two colors. It's 24 pieces with 48 colors. So you get like, um, you know, the darker version, the lighter version. Um, this one has, oh, this one has like a, it's like a lime yellow. So yeah, but I really, really like these. So I'm excited for those. And then I picked up, I really hadn't seen anybody <clears throat> talk about these. Let me move my paper. These are the extra wide and there's only six and I paid, they were on a deal. I think they're regular like $20 and I think I paid like 12 or 13, but they're from Ohuhu. These are the extra wide art markers. This is, um, it tells you the series down there <laughs> and I don't want to butcher the name. I'm like, don't even try it, girl. Don't even try it. Like you're just going to butcher it. So comes with, these are like stickers. I think you can color and put on the actual markers. Yeah. So, and then it comes with the swatch sheet and then it comes with a pamphlet of all the markers that I guess Ohuhu offers um yeah so just like an information sheet but like I said there's only six markers and this is like the green set. And I got these because I thought they would be easier to do bigger backgrounds. Um, you know, if there's a lot of trees, like the sky. It's a little bit hard to take out, but they are the extra wide chisel tip, if you can see that. And this is May Green. So G16. Seven zero, and it tells you the name and the number yeah like these are nice and I know I didn't stay in the line so don't come for me but yeah um, so I'll probably swatch and put the little stickers up here so I can see at the top and I like that they come they have their own little slot so then this is Moss G270. And Pell Grayish Blue B220. Oh, that's a nice color. I like that one. And then Smoky Blue, B260. And, uh-oh, wrong way. Then hazelnuts YR two eight 
And then finally, a leather E260. So yeah, I just did this real messy real quick. Don't come for me. But um, yeah, there you have it. So I thought this would be good for like backgrounds, trees, skies, um, all that good stuff. And I like that they're wide. And yeah, so um, I'm not sure. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know if there's more colors in this. I just saw these, thought they looked cool and picked them up so i got these off of amazon those are the uhuhu extra wide art markers six colors and that's the series on that one and then i picked up the spectrum noir metallic flip markers i got like the more pinkish bluish set i know that there's like i think a set like a green set um i didn't get those I want to, but I just got these for now. These are, and I kind of already opened and swatched them, but let's see if I can get one out. Um, they have the names Nabella. These are Metallic Flip, Spectrum Noir, and have the names on the box back here so you gotta kind of prep them they're water soluble hybrid ink they have a nine millimeter fine tip acid free certified non-toxic so let's kind of get a little closer and we will prep it Hopefully I shook it enough. Yeah, here it comes. So I like the tip because it's a little thicker. Like it's a fine point, but it's not super fine. And I don't have black paper to swatch on. So I know you can though use them I just don't maybe in one of my coloring books has like a black background but come on you can do it so they're pretty cool though I like them they have like a glitter to them they kind of remind me of the pinto hybrid but yeah and you get six colors so I got those and I think that's pretty much it for like supplies um, I got a couple of notebooks I got from Go Getter Girl. I got this notebook. Um, some journaling, like actual journaling. And I love Go Getter Girl. So, I always get my planners and stuff. And this is my planner for this year. From them it is kind of like the vegan soft leather bound scalloped um, I don't know if anybody's heard of these uh, this company go getter it's plan your life and your dreams um, has all the good stuff has like a dream section just basically what your dreams are and all that stuff to your future self 
has the plan section and everything's undated. Uh, then it has like the extras, important contacts, lists, notes. And they have like motivational sayings and stuff. So yeah, that's my planner, my everyday planner. And then <laughs> this is my craft planner from the Happy Planner. It's a crafter's uh, planner. Um, I just really like it. I think it's cute. So I just kind of want to plan my crafts a little bit more. Um, I like that it's big. I love that Born to Create. Happiness is a warm glue gun. <laughs> um ready to plan so i like the dashboards do more of what you love i really love this craft a happy life yeah the craft room is calling and i must go so this is cute this is my crafter planner and yeah I think that's it for like you know that stuff let's get into coloring books if you give me a second I'm just gonna take a drink Excuse me. Um, I will do, let's do, I picked up the Yippie Kawaii, Whippy, Yippie Kawaii from Danny Banani of Fun Unusual Suspects. Um, this is the volume one. I have volume two and three. I kind of bought them bought them out of order. So and now I have all three of them. I'm hoping she comes out with the fourth. <laughs> so, um, but with that, I did get some stickers. Every time I order her coloring books, um, I get stickers. And she's on Etsy, but I got this one. It's a horsey and it says, hey girl, hey. This is a duck. It says, I'm about to quack a... <clears throat> Y'all can read it. And then this one, I have no ducks to give. And keeping it real. And then this is a little freebie that she sent. So, those are going in my planner. And I did get, just for Valentine's Day... I did get the conversation hearts and then these cute little Valentine's Day ones. So, if y'all haven't checked out Danny Banani's Etsy shop, she has amazing stickers, like hundreds of awesome stickers, all kinds of stickers. So, I wish I could have them all. <laughs> but uh, this is volume one. And it just kind of tells you about the book, about the artist, about the mandalas, about the kawaii. This is a blotting page. And it's just a lot of cute. I'm not going to flip the whole thing, but a lot of cute mandalas. And I kind of want to challenge myself and do like a mandala a day out of her three books. So I might go ahead and do that. But yeah, that's one of the first books I got. And then I had to pick up Crystal, uh, Crystal Vogues, Vogues. This is the Christmas one. This is her newest, um, one. I have her other two. So I, I did order this off of Amazon, um, UK and it came relatively fast. 
so I got it within like a week but absolutely love her um her coloring books and ever since um what was it book depository closed <sighs> I'm sad I miss them so yeah but so grateful I was able to get her new book and then I picked up along with everybody else almost everybody else Joanna Bassford's Small Victories, A Coloring Book of Little Ones and Miniature Masterpieces. Y'all all know what this one is. So I won't flip, flip it, but I picked that one up. And then I did get myself from DK um, the Disney sticker anthology. I have the other ones and I was missing the Disney one. So I'm excited. I love Disney. Everything Disney. I want all the coloring books and all the stickers. Oh. Ducks Hells. Like, oh, I remember coming home from school and watching that. Goofy. So, yeah, but I picked up this one. And then, oh. I saw this one all over the coloring tube and the coloring community. This is Dream Coloring for Kids, Creative Coloring for Calming Kids, illustrated by Anastasia. I'm not gonna butcher her last name. So, um, I'm sure everybody has seen this. I got it off Amazon and I just think it's so cute. It reminds me of uh, Emily Olberg. Speaking of Emily Olberg, oh, I can't wait till she comes out with her coloring book. With uh, Sagner, Oak Sagner. One that everybody's been dying for. So. But yeah, just thought this was super cute. Can't wait to color that. And I did do a flip on my channel of Erie's new coloring book. If y'all want to check it out. So I got this one off of Amazon Japan. But there's a flip on my channel of that. And then I did pick up, this one was on sale. It's regular like 20 something dollars or something like that. Excuse me. Sorry guys, just had to check a drink. But um, this is printed on premium 200 GSM watercolor paper, the Woodland Watercolor Coloring Book. And I am trying to get more into watercoloring and really teach myself that medium. I wanna implement it more into my coloring. So I went ahead and picked this up. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. I've done kind of like a little test. And yes, I colored outside the lines. Don't come for me. <laughs> so I really love this this book, though. So I can't wait to practice more. But yeah, pick that up. And then I got three because I couldn't help myself from Eclipse by AJ Quinnell. I got the Helios. And I've done quite a bit in these coloring books but I just I this is on the premium paper and I love the premium paper this is the color uh, art books color by number the color art series I'll always buy premium paper if it's like the circles I don't but these yes so but I've done quite a few in that one already and then this is the christmas crackers which is so freaking cute i love it so there's my blotting or my put behind but i've done done a few in there so i'm just coloring these books from front to back so 
Yeah. This is the Christmas cracker ones. And then this is um, Crimbo. And I'm still coloring Christmas. I'm coloring Christmas all year long. So. You do you and I do me. But I don't think I've colored anything in this one yet. So. These are so cute. I love those. I'm going to put my back page back in there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I picked up Christine uh, Karen's Fairy and Fantasy 5. I, hadn't, I really had wanted this one and I hadn't been able to get it. I still have a couple more on my wish list that I really want. <laughs> but they're going to have to wait. So, and I'll be honest, like, all these pictures are beautiful, but I really, really want to color this one. Like, oh, uh, that's just so beautiful. I love that. So, and this one, like, oh, gorgeous. So beautiful. All of them are beautiful. Oh, that's so cute. So, yeah. Got that. <clears throat> and then... I don't know. I think it was on Nikki and Niagara. Or Anne Hatfield. I like Deborah Mueller's coloring stuff. Like I, I like I love it. Um but I saw this book, Mermaid Wonders, and this is an old book. This is like a older book. Um it's not even it's published by IDW Publishing. Um, it's not even from like her publisher now. So I saw this on somebody's channel and I was like, and because I think I was going through like old videos, but anyways, um, I was like, I need this book. Like, I need this book. And I don't, I pick up one or two of her books, but I don't always pick up all of them. It is on thicker almost cardstock paper and this was published in 2016 I'm sure most of y'all have seen it but I found it on Amazon um and it has like little quotes like it says I'm not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sell my ship um single-sided thicker paper it's not Amazon like it is nice like I love this book I like the thicker um, line art like it is a really nice book like really nice So, can't wait to color in this one. And like I said, this one was IDW Publishing. So, it's an older book, 2016. Okay, so I finally did a little, small, tiny um, Lurica order. Um, I had it in a really long time, and I was craving <laughs> to order I picked up the teddy bears book like I love it I know that's probably not what it's called but but anyways um okay calm down so this is from uh the petites art bear therapy coloriages and I know this has been floating around on the coloring tube in the coloring community so I won't do like a huge flip show you some pages but I love teddy bears like I love teddy bears so I thought this was the cutest thing ever yeah. so glad I finally was able to get that then I follow Bruno's art gallery I love him I don't understand anything he says because it's in French I think think that's the language um but um but 
I do see when he shows all the new releases and stuff um, of, you know, Hatchet Heroes and all that good stuff. So, I picked up these two and I I love these. I love, love my big Disney books. Um, it's just that the majority of them are double-sided and sometimes I just want to use my markers um, instead of you know acrylic brush pens and you know water based and uh, pencils I just want to use my markers so these are the Disney Atelier the, the colorages I don't know I don't speak French but these are 40 of history of love and then these are 40 scenes from the ball so and they these say teens on them because I'm a I'm just took a shot in the dark these are um bigger and they're not as detailed but they're also not kiddish but they're not quite adult coloring um and they're single sided so yeah I don't care what it says. I'm I love them. So yeah. I was super excited when these came out. And I think there's like two more. Um that I really want from this line. So I just love it. Like I can use my alcohol markers and they're not extremely detailed oh and like I could use my oh hoo hoo wide markers for the background yeah I got plans yeah 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 so that's 40 scenes of the ball and them dancing this is the one with all the love oh love it yes love that so yeah that is my haul um it was just kind of a mix of just everything and a lot of you know different things and stuff so I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions or y'all need links to anything or you just want to say hey hey how are you? Um, leave me a comment. Yeah, leave me a comment below. And yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for spending some time with me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Happy coloring, friends. Bye.